Parashat Pekude begins by recording a precise accounting made of all of the materials that were donated towards the construction of the Mishkan. The Medrash Tanchuma explains that Moshe found it necessary to make that public accounting because of the people's murmurings and accusations against him. Earlier in Sefer Shmot in Perak Lamed Gimel, we read that when Moshe would retreat to his tent, the people would stand and gaze at him until he entered. Rabbi Yitzchak in the Medrash said it was Lishvach, that people would look in awe and admiration of Moshe Rabbeinu. Whereas Rabbi Chama claimed that the people looked at him with suspicion. They took note of his healthy, robust physique and charge that he enjoyed, a rich diet paid for by the, all of the precious metals that were donated to build the Mishkan. And therefore, Moshe sought to respond to these charges, explained the Midrash, by making a complete and transparent accounting of all of the monies that were donated towards the building of the Mishkan and how they were used. And yet, why, in the context of this discussion, did the Medrash Tanchuma find it necessary to mention both views regarding the people's looking at Moshe Rabbeinu? Seemingly, the explanation given here for the accounting works only on the assumption that people suspected Moshe of misappropriating funds, of using some of the donations for himself. Why then did the Medrash also include the other view, the position of Rabbi Yitzchak, that it was Lishvach, that the people looked to Moshe Rabbeinu with admiration and reverence of what possible re relevance can it be to that explanation, the fact that Moshe made an accounting of all the donations. Rabbi Yudalev Ginsburg in his Yalkut Yehuda suggests a beautiful reading of this Medrash, explaining that in fact, Making the accounting for everything that was given, the pekudim, was necessary and addresses both views. Because just as a leader has to respond to unfounded suspicions and criticism by presenting all relevant facts and details, so too must a leader who has earned the faith and admiration of his followers ensure to confirm their trust and high regard for him. Vitem Nikiim, we always have to be considered innocent and pure before both God and man. Moshe Rabbeinu found it necessary, therefore, to make an accounting, according to both interpretations, whether people looked at him with suspicion or people looked at him with reverence, Moshe bore the obligation to confirm his integrity and his commitment to the people through a full disclosure of the Mishkan's accounting.